What's going on, people? Happy Tuesday. Happy October. Good evening. Good evening. Timmy and Timmy is in the building. Jahanna. Jana. I said it wrong, didn't I? Robin's in the building. What's up? Jana. Hazelwood is in the building. Susie Q. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully you're home. Hopefully you're at home. You need your phone, Susie Q. You need your phone. You gotta get the thing in the car. You know the thing. What's that called, y'all? The USB? The aux thing, Susie Q. That's your Christmas gift, okay? That's your Christmas gift. Remind me. <laughs> okay, be safe. Be safe. What's up, y'all? What's up, Robin? Jenna? Oh, you at the gym. I'm so jealous. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were there. Look at Zaw. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We got to get together because I know Susan is fine as well. I know she is. She be at the gym, y'all. Is it just Tuesday, Susan? Probably not. It's every day. Same time, right? See, she's consistent. She's like, you know, what's, what is it? Every day, routine, same thing. So jealous. I went walking on Sunday. <laughs> I ain't been back. I haven't been back. I got to do better. What's up, Blinson? What's happening, y'all? Happy October. That's right. First week. First week of the month. First Tuesday of the month. Last quarter of the year. How many days we got left, y'all? 88? What are we doing? How are we feeling? Come on. Come on. Oh, I love spin. Stop it, Susan, because you'll get me on the whole thing. Stop it. Love spin. I'm so jealous. So, so jealous. My guy from, um, what's it called? LA Fitness. No, I haven't been there in a while either. Like every time I get to liking somebody, they quit or leave or get fired or something. I don't like the inconsistencies. <laughs> I don't like it. What y'all up to? What's going on? Happy October. How we feel? How we feel about the fall? How we feel about fourth quarter? Should we do a fill and check on this Ask Me Anything Tuesday? Oh, the YMCA. Oh, Susan, that's an idea. Let me make myself a note because I'll forget. And there's one close by me. I didn't think about that. Let me see. This is the wrong notebook. See, y'all always giving me good ideas. Let me see about that. Let me see about that. How's everybody feeling? Are we ready for fall and warm and snuggly and, 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 and cold and coats and boots and stuff, depending upon where you are in the world? Are we ready for that? We ready for fall? Fall weather? I was, when I was, I went to wherever I go today, Whole Foods or something. And I'm like, it is still hot. I was like hot. Cause when I put the air on, I get too cold. And so I have the, you know, the sunroof and the windows down and everything. And I'm like, it is hot. The sun is beaming down. I thought it should be cool enough by now. Going good. Can't wait until my birth. Whoop, 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 whoop. Happy birthday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. My daughter's birthday is in 14 days. We are ready for fall, but it's warm here. Yeah, it's warm all over. What's up, Cass? It's warm in Cleveland, too. Yeah, it's warm all over. Tivia, my daughter's birthday is in 14 days. Are you the type, Tivia? Let me ask. Let me ask all of y'all, because this is my child. For November, December, the birth her, her birthday is over, right? So I don't hear much. But starting January one, hopefully she's not watching this, because she'll be like, "Ma, really?" January one, we she start planning her birthday. <laughs> Who else is like that? Because I know there's others like that. I know, I know y'all. It's it's all about the birthday. It's all about the birthday. I don't know why I'm not like that. They think I'm so weird. My sister will call. What you doing? I'm like, nothing. I'm just enjoying that I made it. You like that? Okay. 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 <laughs> My daughter is so like that. And then the plans change. I'm going to go eat. Then I'm going to go do this. And then I'm going to go visit this. I think I'm going to go here. I'm gonna go. I got to hear this month after month after month. It's been mid fifties here the past few days. Really? I'm jealous. So I, I think that's perfect weather. That's perfect. Well, are you December, baby? That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, y'all. It's Ask Me Anything. So those that are new, I don't think we have anybody new. Welcome if you are. If you're watching the replay or watching this on YouTube, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
today is ask me anything, anything career related, anything you want to know, anything, you know, burning question, career related, anything you want to ask. Let's let's get it popping. Let's get it going. Um, let me see. Do I have any announcements? Well, kind of, sort of. If you're not in the Discord, y'all need to get in the Discord, okay? I put something in there today. I have some things I want to test out. I forgot to say this, and I know Derek was excited, <laughs> but I forgot to say that. Loretta, hey! Sean! <laughs> hi, 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 hi. You got a November birthday, Derek? Oh, it's a lot of fall birthdays. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm a summer baby. A lot of fall birthdays in, in here. So I'm going to drop the link. Y'all get into the Discord because I announced, and I forgot to say this, Derek. I forgot to say this. For those that are already in our Discord, this is our little secret society. Um, if you're on, if you're watching the replay or on YouTube, I'm going to drop the link, but we're going to close it down for a little bit. We're going to close it. So if you want to get in, go ahead and get in. I got some stuff coming and I want to test and I want you all to give me some feedback on it. So I got some things that, um, that I'm rolling out for fourth quarter, but I want it to roll it out for y'all. It's for y'all, but I need your feedback to tell me what you think about it. So let me drop the links. And if you're watching the replay or watching this on YouTube, I'm going to drop the link in the description, but I'm going to tell you it's not going to be there long because I want to have a good, I just want to have a solid group and I need the numbers to be right. That way, when you all give me feedback, I can say, you know, 10 out of however many are in the group said this or so-and-so, and then we can discuss it. We can discuss it and see the changes. And it'll make sense. On Thursday, what I'm doing is a welcome. Um, this microphone is grabbing my hair. On Thursday, I'm doing like a welcome launch because I know the, the, the platform is new, so it may be a little intimidating. Robin, you're October baby as well. It's a lot of fall, fall birthdays in here. This is the Discord I'm dropping in here, y'all. Um, so go ahead, just get in. If you, if you don't understand it, just click the link and say, okay, Kelly, I'm in. Just get in, just get in. And then on Thursday, October 5th, and it's audio, so you don't have to worry about being on camera or you don't have to worry about me being on video or anything. You can just be laying in your bed listening if you want. We, it, it, but we're all able to talk so I can at least hear your voices. If I can't see you, I can hear your voices. But I just want to welcome you to the platform and also... I'm going to share with you some of the things I'm rolling out that I, I need your help on. And it's for you. Um, I want y'all to just give me feedback. I trust y'all. So I'm going to share with you. Okay. Oh, listen, said I welcome the coolness. Well, so me too. I, maybe it's an age thing, Linson. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. That's right. Derek said, go ahead and join quickly. The password is only good for stuff. You know what? It is. You're right. All right. Let's get these questions going. Cassie said, what do you think about working as a virtual assistant? Um, what do you mean? It, it depends on your goals, right? I had I was talking to somebody today that called me and they they were asking me about making a change in their career. And I said, um, um, and they said, Well, what do you think about this? It's always about what your goal is and what it is that um you are, you know, what stage you are in life and the stage you are in your career. Now, virtual assistant, I have one. Um, I know other people that have virtual assistants. I know people that have started a virtual assistant business. I think it's a great, um, I think it's a great business, but I do think that, you know, a lot of people are, it don't matter, but let me just say it. A lot of people are doing it. And so it's starting to get, you know, people are just kind of not leery, but you got to really brand yourself, Right. You know, I'm going to tell you the truth, right? I think it's a great business, one. I think it's a great job also if you want to work for someone like contract and do that. I think it's a great opportunity. And it's also um, in demand. It depends on what you want to do. Do you want to work it as a job or is it something you're thinking about doing on your own kind of like a freelancer? Let's start there. Maybe I should have started there with the question and then I could have gave you a bet, uh, better response. But that's just off the top of my head. Let me know which direction you're going, Cassie, and then we can we can dive it a little deeper. Uh, let's see. Clifford. What's up, Clifford? Where you been at? Is this different from the other Discord? No, no, no. It's the same one. It's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. No, you can get it on your um, your desktop laptop, Susan. You don't have to you don't have to download the app. I have found when I use the app, it's more intuitive. It's it, you can see more stuff. 
but I use it right here on my desktop too. So you don't have to download the app if you don't want to. It's okay yeah, if you don't want to. No, it's the same one. It's the same one. Um, which way are you trying to go, Cassie? Let me know. If it's something you're thinking about, like working, you know, as a, as a job, working for someone or working on your own as a freelancer or consultant or just doing your own, starting your own business as a VA. Um, Cause it's definitely in demand. I will say that, but I've seen a lot of different, a, a lot of different scenarios when it comes to that. A lot of different scenarios. The other thing I want to share with you, I sent an email to the folks on my email list. Um, I talked about the government shutdown. I'm, I don't know if you all saw, but they're, um, they have a temporary stay on it. 45 days. They came to agreement to uh, pause it for 45 days. So they didn't shut down. But they did is now in that that forty five day stay. So I think that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, Clifford says, "What are your thoughts about using AI generated inter interviewing websites or software?" Uh, I think they're good. I think some of them are good. Google has a good one. I don't know the name of it, but Google has a a good one because it's a simulation. I used this um, maybe about a year and a half ago. I can't remember the name of it, Clifford. If I remember the name, I will let you know. But I know Google has a good one. Some of them are good. Um, but I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, I'm using artificial intelligence, so I'm never going to, I'm not going to bash AI, uh, only if I think it would be harmful to you or me. <laughs> and I know about it, I'll let you know. But I know Google has a good simulation. Like, it'll ask you a question, and um, then you answer it. And what I like about it is, it gives you, it tells you like, if you say, um, too much, it'll tell you what words that you can use in place of certain words. So you sound more articulate and more professional. Um, it, like I just said, um, and yeah, I don't think they're bad. It just, what you, which, which ones that you decide to use. There's a lot of them out there and there's a lot of good ones out there, to be honest. There's a lot of good ones out there. I can drop those in a discord too, if you want. There's uh, several out there that I like. The link took me to an app. Um, let me see, Susan. It is an app. Yeah, yeah. So what's going to happen? Let me share my screen. It's just going to ask you the name that you want to display, and then you're in. Then you're in. Do you see success? Do you see the banner with our, um, our logo on there? But you shouldn't have to like download anything or anything like that. So um, can I share this? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So you should have went here. This is what happens, right? You should have went right here. And then just put your name in, Susie Q. And then when you hit continue, I don't want to create a false member. <laughs> If I do another one, then it'll be more people. But it's already 32 of us in there. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. If you get something else, let me know. Oh, it asks you to download the Discord app? on your. Are you on your phone? You're on your phone. Yeah, if you're on your phone, it will ask you. And I have it, I have it on my phone. I think I showed you all before. I have it on the phone, too. If you don't want to download it, it's okay. It's okay. If you don't, I understand if that's not something you want to do, that's okay. But it's it's a little, where is it? It's this little, I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a little mask thing. But if you're not cool with that, I'm, I, I can respect that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, you're in, Linson. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Derek said a lot of phones already have the app installed. If you don't, it's easy to download. Yeah, it is an app on your phone. It is. But on the computer, I didn't have to download anything. I just logged in from the from the thing. What other questions you got? What are the questions? Any other questions? Career related. What else did I see in the news? I was going to share with you. all. Oh, one thing I read um, that the tide is turning from, you know, from the past for the past couple years. Let's talk about it's been an employee's market where the ball has been in the employee's court in terms of um, deciding what you want to make and um, being available for calls when uh, jobs are available. But they show some data points 
I don't know if I still have the article up, but I can drop it if you want to read it around the the tide is now shifting to it being back because it's always been in the employers. The ball has been in the employer's court in terms of who they want to hire, who they want to pick. The demand was so high for the past 18 months or so that they were desperate for employees. So, you know, that just means a lot of what we already talk about on here in, you know, positioning ourselves and ensuring that we are putting our best foot forward. If we're in the market, especially if we're, we want to make a transition or um, just do something different, either way, you should always want to put your best foot forward, have your documents updated, know exactly the type of position that you want to transition into, know what your skills are. Um, and I have something that'll help you with that. That's why I want you to get into the discord because you're going to be able to, to beta, beta test all of this. Um, but yeah, I read that today and I think I'm going to send an email about it probably tomorrow when I send the replay. I want to share some of the data points in it. And I believe that's true. I believe that tr that's true in terms of what I'm hearing from people as I'm talking to people throughout the day. And I'm even in the YouTube on some of the videos, some of the comments are saying, you know what, I've been in the market a long time and it's never taken me this long. One guy was saying, I've been in the market for three months and I haven't gotten any hits. And I'm like, you know what, you're like the fifth person that said that. So that tells me that there is a shift happening and it's, it's more of an employer's market now. So now we just have to be more um, strategic about the opportunities we want to go after. If we're currently working somewhere and we're not satisfied, we're not fulfilled, we're not, you know, we're feeling stagnant uh, and we want to make a move, but we're allowing fear to stop us. We don't want to do that. We just want to be strategic and make sure that we're keeping track of our achievements and the value that we're bringing so that when we want to make a move, we have all this to present. Right. And so if it's an employer's market and they're being picky about who they want, all you have to do is be able to show your value. So they're like, OK, yeah, I do. I want Linson. I, I, I want Linson. He's going to bring a lot of value to to this organization, to this department. I know he worked over in marketing, but I see where you can bring value. And oftentimes, you all, we have to share the value. We can't expect. Even our own, uh, the people that we report to, to just know that we're valuable because we come in early or because we go out and get the cupcakes for the birthday or because we do certain things and we think this this is going to get us the, the raise or more money when it's time for uh, performance reviews in March next year. Now is the time to track what it is, how you brought value to the company, some of the things that you know that you've done, that you implemented, deployed, executed, automated, streamlined, all of those things you've done, fourth quarter, now it's time to reflect. And actually throughout the years, this throughout the year, you should be recording those things. And I know it's different. It's nothing you probably you haven't done before, but this is why I say often, that we're not nurturing our career and we kind of throw it by the wayside. We throw it by the wayside and we shouldn't do that because we spent a lot of money. Some of us going to school, we invested a lot of time and a lot of money. And some of us don't even make the money that we invested in school. We don't make that as compensation right now. And to me, that's, that's doing yourself a disservice. If you paid $120,000 to go to college, to pay for your room and tuition and board and books and all of that, and you don't even make that in compensation? Yeah, that's something to think about. Something to think about. Something th Freelance. Okay, Cassie, yeah. I think it's a good idea. Same thing applies to Cass. Um, share your value. If you have a if you've been doing that and you're just in your I'll say normal career, you create a portfolio that shows what you can do. If you want to be a VA and you do, I can do marketing, I can do social media management, I can do administrative tasks, I can do itineraries, I can do traveling, I can do all the things. And then you put, you know, I've worked for this CEO or for this senior leader or, or, or whomever. Um, this is the portfolio you, you create. The other thing I would say is to first define, and this is the boring stuff, but the money is made with the boring stuff. That's a bar, y'all. That's something I would write down. The money is made with the boring stuff. Nobody's going to tell you that. They're going to give you all the hype, make 
a hundred million in 10 days. That's bull crap. It takes thinking. It takes a marathon and not a sprint. If you take time, I'm passionate about this, as you can see, you take the time to think about who is your ideal client? Who is your ideal target? Even if you're working, because people don't think they just go apply or they just jump out there and say, I'm going to get clients because I'm good. It don't work that way. You got to sit and think, okay, I want to target startups, CEOs that have, or founders that have startups that might need some help. They may be at a point that they need help. Maybe they're in a series of funding. Maybe they're at a series A. Now I know they have some funding because they went through the angel round. Now they're in um, seed A or whatever it is, A, series A. And now I know they have money to pay me. So I'm going after these founders. And you keep it like that, Cass. Keep it that way. That way you're not all over the place trying to get everybody. Because you know the saying, if you go after everything, you end up getting nothing. So decide who you want to serve. That's the first thing. Second, create a portfolio so that when you're reaching out to get clients, and if you want to talk about this, I can help you. I love stuff like this. When you're reaching out, you send a link with your portfolio to them saying, this is what I've done throughout my career. This is who I've helped. This is the value I've been able to add. I know as a founder, that you have a, you're wearing a lot of hats right now, and I know budget is, is of concern. Here's my fixed firm price. I will help you on a project basis. I work month to month for 25, whatever it is, right? I can go on and on about that, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, a contractor. Same thing. You can still show your a portfolio and you still decide who you want to contract with or for, because you're still doing it on your own. You still got to pay your own taxes, right? Make sure you do that. I can tell you about the woes of not doing that. <laughs> Do you know a resume service that updates resumes for non-office workers? What type of worker if they're non-office? Because I can definitely help them, Susan. Or is it federal or what kind of what kind of office? What kind of what kind of person? What kind of person? What type of work? <laughs> Send them my way. I must have done something wrong. What you mean, Lindsay? What happened? Stacey! Question, do high paying part <laughs> Stacy? like, look. <laughs> Stacy, I love you, Stacy. I love you. Yes, hun, they do exist, hun. You know, I had to get some clarity around what high paying means, right? That means different things to different people. Let's start there. But I know what you mean by, by high paying. Here's, here's, the, here's the key to high paying, your definition, right? It's the value. It's the skill set. So when we think high paying, fifty to seventy five dollars an hour, right? I worked at um, my last job. I was paid seventy five dollars an hour. You know the reason why I was able to get seventy five dollars an hour because of the value that I brought. The value that I brought to the to the uh, to the company that I contract. It was a contract. Right. So one, if you go after contract, the mentality of a decision maker is that I don't have to pay for their benefits. I don't have to pay for this or this or that, because sometimes even in part time, they offer you benefits. So my I would think contract. Because. Just the, the, the thought around that is different for decision makers. They think of people as part time. But I know you truly want to work part of the day, right? Um, but if you're going to get that type of money, you may want to look at contract too. You want to go for those high value opportunities. For instance, right now, AI is a big thing. So I might go and do like um, Robin and Teresa and others did. And I may pay, how much was it, Robin? $99, $49 for to go through the course. And if you join the, in, in, the th in the Discord, who, who am I talking to? I didn't lost who I was talking to. Stacy, I have a uh, have a discount, and I'll drop my link, and you can you can use that. But I, maybe I would get a thing. I think it's three weeks as a prompt engineer. Those are starting at eighty dollars an hour. Now I can't guarantee you that is part time, but at least you can start there. I don't know if that's helpful. Robin said it's forty nine dollars. Stace, are oh, you good with contract? 
So definitely do contract. There's a ton of that right now. It's a ton. Y'all right now, because of the holiday, everybody's hiring. I just saw something for $35 an hour. I know you want more than that. What was it? Oh, I can't think. What was it? It was something for $35 an hour. But all this stuff, as I see it, I just, because I can just drop it in, in the Discord. I don't have to explain anything because y'all get it. I just drop it in there when I see stuff. But those are my thoughts, Stace. There is, hon. There is. There is. It's just you got to be strategic and thoughtful. And what I'm going to share with you Thursday will help because I got, I, got, I got a lot going on. Susan said warehouse. <laughs> you laughing. I'm glad you're laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, Susan, I can. Oh, warehouse, warehouse. I can still help. I can still help. I won't. I won't go. I won't. I won't. I can still help. Let me know. Send me an email, Susan. I know you got my email address. Um, yeah, freelance like upscale and Fiverr, perhaps. You know, there's another one called. I'll give you this one, Stacy, because um, I have a client that's doing some things with these people. Uh, it's called Taskverse. They're freelancers. And I know Meta has a big project on there right now. If you go right now, not now, don't leave me. But when we get off, <laughs> they're paying like $35 a minute or something ridiculous. But it's it's going to end. It's like it's a contract thing. Uh, I might do it at that rate, right? Um, it's called Taskverse. Taskverse.com. And Meta is testing something. So they're getting a bunch of people to to help them test. I don't know what it is. It's like a Siri, but it's their version and they need people to test and they're paying ridiculous amounts of money. Now it's not going to last. It's just project. But if you get enough of those going, like that's good. And it's so many out there. It's so many out there, y'all. And again, I'll be dropping those in the discord. Join. I dropped the link already. Join y'all. Join, join. Don't I stay? Don't I Robin? I just drop them. I just drop them. Even Robin dropped, she dropped some, um, Robin said her company hired and Robin get every other Friday off. <laughs> the nerve of her, the nerve, the absolute mitigated gall. <laughs> I said, why would you want to leave? And Derek was like, for real though. <laughs> why would you want to leave? Like, where are you going? You better be careful. <laughs> Robin, you better watch out now. <laughs> I know they love Robin over there, though. Me and Robin have talked. They love her. They love her. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I'm going to drop the link. I'm going to drop the link. Um, Here we go. And like uh, Derek was telling y'all, this link lasts seven days. I know people email me and they say, Kelly, the link ain't working. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Here's the link. Join. Just join. Click the button. Look at, look at Robin rubbing it in. Look, look. And unlimited vacation. Unmitigated gall. Robin got it good. He got the nerve to talk about, uh, I don't know what I want to do. Why you want to leave? <laughs> oh, okay. 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 She said she ain't going nowhere. All right. Stacy said, Okay. I'll take full time if it's remote and just time to work on my own stuff. Cool, cool, cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, what's the other one? Task, what I say? Task verse. Arise. They got, they, they looking for a ton of people. I talk about that on TikTok because it's, it's the younger crew because these are customer service roles. They don't pay a lot, but it's steady work. I mean, it's, if you're sitting at home and you're on your, you're, you're on your thing, they have a uh, coach is hiring, um, Dick Sporting Goods, uh, uh, AAA, roadside assist. Like everybody's hiring right now because of the holidays. Again, they're not the high paying uh, states, but they are hiring and you'll get you'll get on quick, 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 quick. Uh, what's the other one? Mm, can't think. Can't can't think. But yeah, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening right now just because of the holidays, right? But yeah, like Derek said, freelance, like Upscale or Fiverr, those are also those are also good good places. Um, what else, y'all? What else we got? What else we got? Any other questions? Anything else y'all seeing in the news? Y'all know, remember, um, was it last year? 
maybe last year, early last year, early this year, we did a career news segment. What y'all think about if we do that again? So I we did like four different segments of things that's happening in the news. Did y'all like that format? I was thinking about bringing that back for one of our things. We did it a couple times where we just talked about the news, but I want to make sure it's it's helpful, you know? I don't want to just give bad news or anything. Just things that are happening. We had some good discussions around it. Did y'all like that? The format? We just talked about stuff in the news. It wasn't bad. It was just like, remember the guy, there was there was one uh, news story where the guys were working, guys and gals, they were working three jobs at a time and it was called overemployed. We talked about that. And then we went on to a new segment. I was thinking about doing that. You joined Dash? Welcome, my friend. Digital Dashery. Did y'all like that format? Because I was thinking about bringing that back. I was thinking about bringing that back. And actually changing the format. I'm going to talk about this on Thursday. I'm going to talk about this on Thursday. But changing the format a little to have different segments where we're talking about different things throughout the hour. Or y'all just like the topic-based training. And we just like, Kelly, don't change nothing. Just keep it the same. Maybe we'll vote on it. Or maybe do it one time, one Tuesday a month or something. I don't know. Derek said it's very helpful. Sometimes we may miss something or it's not widely felt for you. Yeah, that's my thought. That's my thought. But again, I never want to make it about what I want to share. I always want to make sure it's something that you all would benefit from and it's valuable to you. So I like to ask and make sure, you know, everybody can, um, you know, benefit from it. Whatever we do, right? What other questions y'all got? We can we can we can wrap up early if we don't have any questions. Just want to make sure it's not all about what I think about. I know the topics are good, and sometimes I make sure that it's something we can use. But I want to also ensure that if you have questions, that you can get those answered as well. Um, lots of stuff happening. One of the things that um, you know for fourth quarter, you know I've been thinking about. You know how I tell you all to. Go for your passion and go for those things that you really want to do. Like I think Cassie was talking about, you know, doing the VA and just changing. I talked to somebody else, um, um, not Stace, but um, was it Stacey? I talked to somebody else and it was just like, you know what? I think I want to do something different, but I'm not quite sure what. I'm kind of feeling that way too. Not different from this, but just really focusing on the thing that I'm passionate about. And I'm really passionate about those that are um, mid to late um, years in life. (laughs) That's always been my passion. One, because that's what I am. And two, um, I've just seen a lot of things when I was in corporate uh, with people and in things I didn't like. And I thought if I ever got the opportunity to say something or do something, I want to do that. So just like I tell you all to go after those things that really are important to you and you're passionate about and you have a heart for, um, I would, I would not be, I would be disingenuous if I'm not doing the same thing. So those are some of the things that I want to talk about with you on Thursday and you'll see You'll see that in in probably the beginning of next year because I want to make sure that I'm doing those things that I really, really, like I really, really want to do. I really, really want to do. So just thought I'd share. Just thought I'd share. Um, Because I'm passionate about the second half of life. I'm passionate about people that are in the second half of their life. I'm passionate about um, um, renewed relevance. and, And I'm passionate about ensuring that people just don't give up and feel like they, they don't have, um, they have to start life over and that they're, they're too old or overqualified or, or all those words and labels that we're given that aren't true. They aren't true. <laughs> and I, don't, and I, and I, I'm, I'm an advocate for, for, for that. Cause I was told that I told y'all the lady at UPS and I'm going to always put them on blast. Cause she told me that and I believed it. I believed it. She told me I'd never be in management. I'd never work there full time because I was a contractor. She told me that to my face and I seen her. I know her name. 
and I believed it. And I, and I, and I held on to that label for years. And I, I walked through life with that on my mind and in my brain. And it took God and, and me maturing and just knowing that ain't true. That's not who I am. And so I know because I talk to a lot of you and I talk to I talk to a lot of people that's 50 years of age and older. And this is is that's not cool to me. The people that I know they're wearing these labels and they're, they're feeling less than. And I know you're more than. And even if you have to borrow some of my confidence, here you go. <laughs> so that's what I want to go after. That's what I'm going to go after. And that's what I'm going to pursue. I've been talking to companies. I've been talking to uh, organizations. And again, I'm going to share this with you on Thursday. And I have, I'm excited about the future. I'll leave that there. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. Uh, Karen, hi. Oh, you're welcome. Derek said, will we be able to segue back to the vision board? Absolutely. Now that we have our community, um, we can definitely do that because we can do all kinds of stuff in there. You know, it's, it's, it's not hard, but when, when I just have the email, I have to write a whole thing. I have to explain everything and I have to, and I don't mind, but you know, I don't, I don't get the feedback. I can't hear from y'all. It's easy to write a few sentences when we're together on a, on a, you know, a Thursday morning or something, say, Hey y'all, or if Stacy or Loretta say, you know, Hey y'all, we're going to do the vision board. I was telling Robin to do an event. She was like, Kelly, I don't know how to, <laughs> and I know I owe you a video to show you how to do it. But I don't mind. Put something on the calendar. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. We can do that. We're gonna have a Christmas party. Maybe we should do it during our Christmas party. We're gonna have an ugly sweater party, right? Maybe we should do that then and, and cast our vision for 2024. <laughs> so I said, how do I research new jobs using job skills instead of job titles? Is that possible? It sure is. Let me show you. Let me show you. I ain't going to just tell you. I'm going to show you, my dear. How about that? How about that for service, Zal? How about that? How about that for service? Um, Now I got to figure out how to get in. <laughs> Did all that talking. Now I got to figure out how to get in. Okay, I think I'm on one of my profiles. Okay, let's go in. Let me show you. Let me show my screen. So I'm on LinkedIn. I guess I could have went to Indeed, but I always go to LinkedIn. I know y'all don't like LinkedIn but I'm telling you, you need to be on there. Don't get me started. You need to be on LinkedIn. I'm going to tell you a story in a second because you know I got a story for everything. Let me show you. Let me show you all. Um, so I don't have my laptop, so hopefully you can see me. I'll give it a second. So this is uh, LinkedIn, right? So let's say I am a financial analyst, but I'm not going to put my title. I'm just going to put that I do budgeting and I do... Um, Let's say, and forecasting, and I hit enter. The next thing I'm going to do is right here, you're going to hit jobs. And bam, all the titles come up with those skills, right? You do budgeting and forecasting. These are your technical skills, not your soft skills. And when you put those in, you see I have it in there. You want to use the word and. Here's another trick. Let's say you want it to just have positions because what will happen when you put budgeting and forecasting some, let's click on um, senior, this one right here. Sometimes, sometimes it'll give you one of the words. Let's see. Do you see budgeting? I know I'm moving fast. Budgeting and forecast. Hopefully y'all can see this because I can't see y'all. But if you put quotation marks around, see, let's look right now. You see it has 15,872 results. So if you put quotations, let's do this, around budgeting and forecasting, hit enter, it's down to 17. Now we have a true list of roles that have budgeting and forecasting in the job title, I mean, in the job description. So that's what we use as recruiters. When we really want to narrow down who we're looking for, we know for a fact that the role that this hiring manager gave us, they have to have both. This is called a um, Boolean search. This is a recruiter term. Now, the next thing you can do, and then I'll leave this alone, is you can put AND in all caps. And let's say that you want to have data modeling. So you put data 
modeling, you put the word in, and then you also put this in quotations. And remember, we got 17 results. Let's see what we get. Uh, is it going to let me? Hopefully y'all can see this because I can't see y'all. Let's see what we get. We hit enter. Oh, it's, it's buffering because it's not blinking anymore. But I think you get the picture, right, Zal? Hopefully. Let me come back to you. Can you could could you see that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know me. You know me. Um Oh, who bullying you, Susie Q? We're going to get them. We're going to get them. What y'all say? Okay, Zaw, that helped. <laughs> so I was like, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm just helping. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Clifford, if a recruiter reaches out to you about a position that's not in a location you want to go, what would you suggest to let them know? You tell them you don't want to go. No, you, you share with them that, um, you know, you're excited for the opportunity and the reason, you know, I really wanted to stay in the Southeast or um, I really want to stay in this part of the, uh, due to family or what have you, I had to hire um, a VP of something. He was in New York one time, right? And he didn't want to move because him and his family had just relocated and his wife was pregnant. I'm not saying you have to share information, but because of that, they made the position remote. So again, like I said earlier, it's all about the value. If you have the skills that they're looking for, I'm telling you all this. You can get that position created for you. If you know how to position yourself, don't think it can't be done. I've seen it done. It happened to me. So I would just suggest to them that you're really looking for something in the Southeast region or wherever in the Maryland area, in the Georgia area or wherever you are. And, you know, should something become available, please let you let, you know, keep my information. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't just say, you know, I'm not interested. Just like, you know, I'm super excited about this opportunity but I, you know, I really have to stay within, you know, the Maryland area or the Southeast region. Would they be open to remote? Don't close it. Leave the door open and ask them an open-ended question. Would they be open to remote or would they be open to, if you're open to travel, um, keep the dialogue going, Clipper. Let me know if that's helpful. Karen said, yes, there are some people who have no problem attacking their, I know, don't get me started on that, Karen. Don't, don't do that. It's all laughing at me. I'm laughing at you because you know me. You know me. Derek said, with all the global hiring going on lately, what is your advice for those recruiters that only try to contact you through what? Yeah, don't do that, Derek. One, how do they how do they find you through WhatsApp? Stacy said, yes, I'm a planner, so love vision boards. Y'all really want that. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you because I'm searching for a new job currently. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can put skills, you can put job titles. And the other thing on there I didn't show you, um, Zal, in that same, on that same little sub menu, it says events. Click on events and you can find hiring events and fairs and stuff like that too. And nobody goes. Sometimes you're the only one with all these companies. So go to them. Go to them. Okay, you answered the question. Well, me too, even though I don't really want a job. <laughs> Stacey, I really don't want one. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. No, you said Boolean search after I had asked it. You're good. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome, hon. I don't dislike LinkedIn. I'm trying to learn to you. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all sleeping on LinkedIn. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Not you, Zaw, because uh, there are some people that do you and y'all sleeping. It's, 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 it's got millions of people from all over the world. <laughs> Literally. Literally the world. Literally, and I'm telling you, the opportunities that come from that platform will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. You can be as long as you're positioned, as long, meaning your profile is polished, is buttoned up, is is it looks is professional. You're smiling. They you want to engage with them, and you know you're on there. You're out there. You know, having a digital presence is like 
it's like brushing your teeth every day. It's something you got to do. You have to do, right? And what will happen, who was I talking to earlier? And I was telling them about this. They will come to you. They will come to you. If you go back in the Facebook group, Kelly's Career Club, you can, you can search it on Facebook. If you look, I think I did it last year. I showed my inbox on LinkedIn and I've been out of corporate for years. And it was stacks and stacks of recruiters and hiring uh, managers asking, asking for calls or are you interested? We have an opening. Here's an opportunity. Are you interested in a town position? Here's this, this, this. Still, just, just, just stacked and stacked and stacked. And I haven't reached out for nothing. And you know why? Positioning. It's just my profile just sitting there. I don't have it up now. But even in my, um, I just got an email because my email is still active on that profile. I got an email maybe last week for a role. It's not hard to do, but if you just don't do it, then, I mean, you just don't do it, right? Because you got to take action. You got to take action either way. But Keisha, I have had to turn down jobs because family health crisis. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you don't have to share Nikisha. Like, you know, y'all, y'all can keep your stuff private. You can just say, say you had, you know, personal, um, some personal things happening and, you know, you don't have to share with them. Please don't feel obligated to share all of your personal business if you don't want to. Right. And sometimes, especially on your resumes, if there's a gap because you were taking care and all of us probably have, you know, um, older parents right now, and some of us may be taking care of our parents right now or family members that are, are older. A lot of us have aging family members and sometimes we have to stay home or, or, um, or having a baby or something in the family that keeps you at home. You don't have to share that gap on your resume. You put, you put on there that you had, um, the, I forgot what it's called, but you put it on there like a job, right? And you just put, you were at home, right? And you put the dates. But then when you get the call, because if they're calling you, they still want you and they see the gap. That's your opportunity to let them know on the phone while you, why you were out. But while you were out, you were still um, pursuing professional development by taking courses, by, you know, upskilling and reskilling. So that shows them that you, you, still, um, you still have continuous learning going on. Right. You're still ready for your next challenge, your, re your next opportunity, but never feel obligated to tell anybody your business. And that's up to you. But I don't don't ever feel obligated to do that. Um, Derek says, so sometimes we need to create a presentation for a meeting or report. If we don't have graphic designer training, how can learn or improve? Sometimes you have to create a presentation. You can go to, you know, the, the things that I create for when we're doing our presentation, it's called beautiful.ai. So use artificial intelligence. It'll create it for you. Yeah, it's too many AI tools out there now, D, you can use. If you have the context of what the presentation should be, let, let AI create it for you. Yeah, we want to live, live the soft life. <laughs> we want to live easy. We don't want to work. Hard. Those days are over. The working hard, y'all, because it don't pay, right? How many of us are satisfied with the pay? So let's quit working hard. Let's get these tools to do to do what they can, right? Let's quit. Let's quit that. Let's quit working hard. We don't have to. We don't have to. You can do um, another one. D is um, Microsoft, or is it Bing? One of them has. An, I think it's Microsoft. And if you have Microsoft Suite, now they have an AI assistant on there. You just type in the text. Let's say your presentation is about quality assurance, I don't know, um, inspections. It'll give you all the slides. It'll put the pictures and the words. You just go in and edit. Yeah, let's quit working hard, y'all. Let me know if that's helpful, dear. Oh, dear. Um, okay, you'll check out the events. Clifford said, if you're going into an interview where you were told by a recruiter that the salary amount was set, but you personally feel it should be more, how would you approach the situation? If you're going into an interview where you were told by a recruiter that the salary amount was set. Okay, so the, 
position only pays 150, but you feel like it should be 175. How would you approach the situation? I would go through the interview and I would kill it. I mean, kill it. I would give even give them some value in the interview. I would do my research. I would do a deep dive. If I really wanted that role really bad, I would take my time. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I would kill that interview so much so you'd be so good that they can't say no. That's a Steve Martin thing. He said that you'd be so good that they can't say no. So you, you, they told you it was set. Now you make them want you, right? You go in there and you kill it. I wouldn't say anything right now. She told you what it is, right? If you want the job, because it's your time also, it's not just about money, but if you're going to take the time to interview and you want the job and you, they offer it to you, I, sh- I know you share with me what the uh, compensation is for this position. I bring to the table, I had someone at Microsoft do this, and he um, he was above the salary. They paid him, right? I came with my, he said, I have my MBA. I've been doing this for seven years. I've helped Amazon do this. I have white papers on this. I have a portfolio on GitHub. I do X, Y, and Z. If I could get that 175, if you can make me whole, I don't, you know, either way you all want to make it work, I can get so much in stock, so much in sign-on, so much as long as the, I can get 175, then I would gladly accept. So you give them some options. This thing, okay? Uh, give them some options, right? You know what you need, but go in there and kill it. Be so good that they can't say no. That's how you get what you want. If they come back and they say, congratulations, Clifford, we want to make your offer. All right, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for this opportunity and for considering me for this role. I know earlier on we had talked about the compensation, you know, before. I don't want to waste anyone's time. I really need to be at that 175. Any way we can get there, I'm open to discussing. I'm open to discussing, right? And here's the thing. You, you do it that way because the recruiter is excited about filling the role. As recruiters, we want to make the hiring managers, decision makers happy, and we look good to them. So wait it out, go through the interview and kill it. And they're going to be excited, the recruiter, because some of them get paid, most of them get paid by filling a role. So they're going to go to bat for you and you spell it out. If I could get to here, doesn't matter how we get here, I would gladly accept the role. Let me know if that helped, Clifford. Karen says, can you refer an app to prep for interviewing for those of us who hasn't had to do this for a while? I just shared with, uh, was it you, Clifford? Let me find it because I keep, I don't know the name. Um, Hold on. I'm going to find it for you. I'm going to find it for you. I have it. Let me see what it's called. It's a Google um, app and I'm going to find it for you because it's on my mind now. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Oh my gosh, it's almost nine o'clock already. Um, hold the phone, hold the phone. Here it is. I'll drop this in the Discord as well. It's called Interview Warm Up Tool. I'll drop it. Hold on, I'll give you the link. I'll do you one better. You see? You see? You see how I love y'all? Do you see? Hold on. Matter of fact, matter of fact, not with a T, with a F, with a C. I'm going to show it to you. This is called the interview. I'm going to drop it right now because I always do that and I forget. There it is right there, but let me show it to you really quick, okay? I dropped it in the chat, okay? Let me show you. So this is the one by Google that I was sharing with you. Let's see if it'll talk to us. Hopefully y'all can see it. I don't have my laptop, but it's interview warm up. It's a quick way to prepare for your interview in, and you see it gives you different project management, uh, UX design. It's not just tech though, uh, cybersecurity, or it's a Google tool, but you start practicing. It gives you how it works. And it says, can you tell me about yourself? That's a question, right? And then you practice answering it, right? And you just keep going and it'll give you, like I said, the output Can I start practicing? The output, it'll say, you said too many ums, or use this word instead of this word. 
So try that and let me know. Let me know if that helps. Let me know, Karen, if that helped. Stacy, okay. Let's see. Zaw said, I have had people reach out to me for jobs I don't want. Yeah, my profile is incomplete. So I want to figure out how to use LinkedIn in a way that people are reaching out to me for the skills I want. I could definitely help you with that. You, you need it and you will be surprised. Listen, the return, the ROI on that is invaluable. It's invaluable. It's invaluable. I could go on and on about that. You will get contacted for things that you didn't even know that people would contact you for, <laughs> you know? I had, um, I met a girl two years ago and we in, we've been in partnership for two years just because of LinkedIn. Just because of LinkedIn in a totally different country. I'm telling you all, I'm not saying it for my health or for any other agenda. It's, it's valuable. It's, it's an asset to you. It is an asset for you all, not just for you, Saul. It's an asset. These are digital assets, right? Instead of being a consumer, start creating assets for yourself, things that will give you an ROI. Instead of going out buying, not, you, not, not anybody specifically, but we have to start thinking about building our assets. These are digital assets. Your LinkedIn profile is an asset. Your resume is an asset. That's why I stay on you all about keeping it up, keeping it relevant, writing down every week, every month, every quarter, at the end of the year, everything you've accomplished, right? Instead of going to work and just doing the thing and coming home and going to work and doing the thing, coming home, making it routine and monotonous. That's why it's not serving you. It's no longer benefiting you. Your job, your role, that's why you're bored. You feel stuck. You feel unmotivated. You feel stagnant. You're not happy. You want to move. I want to quit. I want to start this. I want to do that. I want to do that. It's because you're no longer challenged. It's not just the money. You're not even challenged. You don't even want to, you're not even motivated. You don't want to do it anymore. But if you had something to work on, then you will feel more motivated, right? I thought recruiting, I was done. Yeah, I don't want to do recruiting anymore. I'm not going over there to that job and doing recruiting. Yes, the honeymoon, the 90 days, the honeymoon, um, Thing would be fun because it's a new place, it's a new environment, it's new stuff. But after that, I'm still recruiting. I didn't want to do it anymore. But I didn't know. I start walking the path. I start looking for other options, opportunities. And this is the reason why I bring this up constantly. You want to have options. I talk about the toolkit of having something to, to tap into because we evolve just as human beings. We didn't, five years ago, we don't like what we like now. I used to be allergic to green onions. I can eat a whole one now. I don't even know what happened to my body. <laughs> but we change, we evolve. We don't like what we like. When we first got into to working and our jobs, we were excited to get the new job and I'm gonna climb the ladder and I'm gonna do, now we just like, you know what? <laughs> I don't even wanna be there right now. I wanna do something else. But take what you have, and I do this because it's already in your hand. Take what you have. I'm talking to everybody, not just one person. Leverage that. Like, we can talk about it. And because I've done it, I ain't got to make it up. You walking with me through this whole journey. Some of you all been with me for decades. Teresa, she not on here. Now she worked with me. I got receipts. I used to do this. And now I'm doing this. So I'm walking proof that you can do it as well. I'm not anybody special. I'm not doing anything special. You can do this as well. I love that Cassie said, hey, I'm thinking about doing VA. You got to change your mind because the world is changing. Believe it or not, you know, you don't have to believe it. You don't have to, you don't have to change. But it's going to change with or without you. And a good thing to do is to, to, to be ahead of the curve. You don't want something to just hit you in the face. And you're like, oh, man, let me dust that resume off. And then Kelly been telling me for years, maybe I need to turn that thing into a portfolio. Maybe I need to turn it into a bio. Maybe I do need to get on LinkedIn. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. You're welcome. Karen, I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Uh, it helped. And in reference to AI questions, you said you would drop in Discord channel. AI questions. What'd I say, Clifford? 
You know, you got to remind me what I say. It helped. And in reference to AI questions, you said I would. Oh, you want me to drop? Oh, got it. Got it. See, I forgot. I will drop it in Discord. Oh, you love me. I love you, too. I love you back. Zal said, I really do think my next job is something that I have never done before or may not even heard of before. So that's why I want to lean into skills I want to use instead of job title. Yes, 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 yes. You absolutely, absolutely should. should. Linson said, I agree. I was working for years in a call center, now working in a completely different alphabet. Thank you, Linson. Absolutely. I'm telling you, y'all, you get one life. You get one chance at this thing. Don't just sit and take what you've given. We've been fitting in stuff all our lives, believe it or not, right? We've been fitting in stuff all of our lives. We fit into a job description, right? We try to fit in in school. We try to fit in, you know, with certain people. It's time we just, we just rock with it. Y'all rock with me because I'm just me. And if I wasn't, I would change. Y'all would see the behavior change, but I'm just me. And same thing with your job and your career. If you don't like it, Yes, I know. We got to pay bills. I know. I get it. But here's what I learned. And I know this for sure. If you're just there for money, you're never going to be happy. And I promise you, you're never going to be rich or wealthy. I don't care how many jobs. You can get three of them things. But I ain't never seen nobody with two and three jobs rich or wealthy. Have you? It ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. So you might as well do what you love. You might as well go for something you know. Why sit there and, you know, we don't want our skills to deteriorate. We don't want to sit there and not be motivated. We don't want to sit there and let it just be transactional. I work, you give me money. I work, you give me money. I Because that's what most of us do. We go there to pay bills. That's it. Is that our life? Is that our life? We all better than that. Every single you are better than that. Looking at me, I'm looking at you. You. <laughs> you better than that. And you know you are. You know you are. You know you are. And I challenge you in this fourth quarter, I put something in Discord. I think Derek was the only one that read it. It's something I'm doing right now. What is it called, Derek? The one, one, three, five, whatever method. It's a method by Darren Hardy. And it helps you with your goals. The thing is, y'all, we read, we learn, we watch people on YouTube living their wonderful lives and we scroll and we spend all this time looking at other people going travel and doing all this. And we don't do nothing for ourselves. What is really happening? Why? Why? Why are we not doing it for ourselves? We invest in everything else but ourselves. We invest in that college. We spend all that money. And do we even make that? How much did you spend on your college degree? Room, board, tuition, books, all the things. 120? 150? 130? Do you make that? The time. You can't ever get it back. It's gone. Can we start investing in ourselves? Let's do that. Fourth quarter. Let's say I'm going to do something every day for myself. For myself, Robin does not hesitate. She doesn't hesitate. That's somebody I know for sure takes action on here. And she in the comments. And I thank her for just, she trusts me enough to say, I'm doing it. She didn't even look it up. She said, Kelly, I'm in. Not for me, but it's, it's a course for herself. And here's the thing. If there's if prompt engineers, she went to it through a prompt engineer course. And these things I'm dropping in the comments for y'all, the stuff that I'm dropping, some people, some people just take it and keep it in a notebook and just keep notes. When do you ever go back and look at the notes? For every one hour of learning, there should be four hours of executing. Every one hour of learning, it should be four hours of executing, whatever it is. If you're watching and learning something, you don't learn it until you do it. You can't read about swimming. You got to jump in the water. And I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. What y'all saying? Y'all know me. It's only because I love you. Like Karen said, I love you. I love you. I love you back. Because ain't nobody going to talk to you like this. If I didn't love you, I don't have to say nothing. Right? Lisa said, I agree. I was working for you. Oh, you, I said the digital. I always growing and learning in grad school at 
50 year old getting my MBA and MBA candidate is listed on my link. There you go, D. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's it. It's never too late. It's never too late, y'all. As I said, not two to three jobs that they are trying to physically work. That does not usually get anyone. No, it's never going to. It's not. It's not set up. It's not designed to do that, y'all. The wealthy people, the 1% of people that run the world, don't even get me going. Zal, don't get me going. <laughs> it's not designed. It's not designed for us to be what well, rich is one thing. Wealthy is another thing. Wealth is something you can pass down. Wealth is something that you can share with others. Riches is something that um, you have, right? Wealth is something you want, like the Rockefellers, right? They have a whole lineage of SOPs, standard operating procedures. They have a whole um, office thing going. Don't get me started on that, that whole thing. Like, we don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk about that in the Discord. Not on Thursday, but we'll have a whole conversation because I can go in on that. Yes, there said the 1153 130 um, plan is actually, I took off the 30 and the five, but you learn, you have one goal, you do one skill, you read five books, you do three, what's the three? I forgot the three, and then one thing. That's what I'm doing this month. Stacy said that's because, and I know it's nine o'clock, you guys, if you have to go. Um, I appreciate you though. That Stacy said that's because Americans live to work and not, that's it. That's, that's what we were taught though, right? We saw our mama and them. <laughs> and we saw our grandparents, right? I told you my grandmother used to, I, used to me and my, I lived in Illinois. Somebody, Cassie, Ohio, I lived in Illinois. And I don't care what the weather was. So it really like is weird in Georgia when it starts snowing and it's like this much snow and they trip out and shut everything down. Like we were in 12 inches walking to school. It was like, it's like weird. Anyway, we would walk so she can wash clothes for people and get a couple dollars. And then we would walk back home. My mom worked at night, General Motors, in a whole different state. She drove there and drove back at night. And guess what we did? We found a job because that's what we were taught. So it's not that we, you know, we want to do it. It's just that that's the example we saw. And in school, that's what we're taught to do. So when somebody comes online and say, hey, do this and invest in yourself and and create asset is just foreign. It's just, it's just like, what, what, what? It doesn't sound right. Cause we weren't taught that. So it sounds foreign. That absolutely, that means it's wrong. Cause it's not the norm of what we've been taught. Right. That's right. D dear and Hardy Kelly, please share that with me. I'm currently on LinkedIn learning prompt engineer, which other oh, course. Okay. I will. Where's Robin at? Um, Robin, if you have it, could you drop that for digital dashery? Otherwise, dash, I know you inside of what you call. I'm going to put that in there too. That would be good to put in there. I'll put it in there as well. Um, Zah said, I understand talking about the 1% can get me. I know, I know. Don't get me started. Don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started on that dog on 1%. Y'all need to read the, um, the, the Jekyll Island book. There's only like, five people running the world. It's ridiculous. I'm going to get ready to go. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You're welcome. You, you're welcome, Dash. As I said, it's, I'm from Chicago, so I've walked through. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, we walked to school in zero below. It was nothing to have, you know, nose hairs that were icicles. It was nothing. Dash from Milwaukee. Like, he know, like, it's nothing. Like, they trip down here. It's just, it's so ridiculous. Like, everything is shut down down here. <laughs> everything is shut down. Like, it was just normal to be cold. <laughs> My nose would be red. It's just normal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> Get into the Discord. Um, I'm going to just do a welcome thing. It's just audio. It's like, uh, what's the app that, that was out? What's the app, y'all, that was out? It was just audio. Clubhouse. In Discord, you can, we just do audio. So you don't have to worry about it. You can be in the bed. And we just can be talking, right? I just want to welcome to the Discord. I want to answer questions if you have any about it. I want to hear about, um, you know, what y'all want to see in the Discord. It's just a quick way, you know, it's a good way for us to be together outside of uh, this right here. So um, if you, um, 
want to chat, you want to talk about some things. If you are feeling stagnant, if you know that you need to make a change this quarter, you know, 2024 is coming up and you're like, you know what? I can't do this again. I know I need to talk to somebody. I need to at least get some type of um, guidance or direction. Here is my calendar. I'm happy to speak with you on that. We can collaborate together and put some plans and milestones in place so that we can get you on the right track for this quarter and beyond. Here is the Discord. I'm dropping that as well. If you're watching the replay or you're watching this on YouTube, look in the description box. All of these links will be in there as well. And I love y'all and happy October. It's Thursday, uh, Stace. It's Thursday, um, 8 o'clock. Thursday, 8 p.m. Thursday, 8 p.m. Let me know, Stacy, when you get in, if you can see, because uh, I think it may be locked, and that's on me if it is locked. If you can't see the events calendar in Discord, let me know. Hit me up in there. Y'all, let me know if you can see. Yes, please like the video. If y'all liked it, y'all know I'd y'all know i be talking, but we have a good time. <laughs> like the video. And um, okay, we'll see you Thursday. I'm just going to be sharing, and we can all talk. I can hear y'all voice. Y'all don't have to just listen to me and be like, shut up, Kelly. Digital said Texas shut down. However, that freeze was not fun. No power. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's wild. See, that's the other thing. And I'm going to go. Y'all got to notice the stuff that's happening in the world. And y'all just sitting back, just doing regular stuff. It's the last days. Y'all better look at this stuff. I mean, flooding in New York. Come on, y'all. Like leprosy in Florida. Hello? <laughs> and y'all just want to live mediocre life? Are you kidding me? Let's go get this. Let's go, baby. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. See ya. Bye.